Good morning. This is the fourth English session for this week for class 8. So what did I teach you yesterday? Yes, the best Christmas present in the world. Did you go through that lesson? Did you read it thoroughly? And what about the assignment that I gave you? Have you completed it? Okay, very good. So now let's move on to the second part of the same lesson that is the best Christmas present in the world. The best Christmas present in the world. This is the second part that we are going to do today. So let's begin. Dearest Pony, I write to you in a much happier frame of mind. So, the writer is very happy. Why? Let's see. Because something wonderful has just happened. So, why is he so happy? Something wonderful has happened. That is why he is very happy. What happened? Let's see. That I must tell you about at once. So, he is so eager to tell. We were all standing to in our trenches. Yesterday morning, Christmas morning, it was crisp and quiet all about. So, they were standing in their trun trenches and it was a very crisp and quiet morning. What happened after that? It was crisp and quiet all about. As beautiful a morning as I have ever seen. As cold and frosty, very cold and frosty. As a Christmas morning should be. So, it is very cold, very frosty. Let us see what happens after that. I should like, I should like to be able to tell you that we began it. What is that it? Let's see. But the truth, I'm almost, I'm ashamed to say, is that Fritz began it. It's actually about the whole war between the French and the Germans. First someone saw a white flag waving from the trenches opposite. So from the opposite trench, somebody was waving a white flag like this. It's called waving, okay? Then they were calling out to us from across no man's land. Land which doesn't belong to anyone. It's no man's land. Happy Christmas, Tommy. Happy Christmas. When we had got over the surprise, some of us shouted back, saying to you, saying to them, shouting, yes, happy Christmas to you, happy Christmas to you. Saying to you. So they also shouted back. I thought that it would be, I thought that I, it would be that. We all did. But then suddenly one of them was up there in his great, great coat and waving a white, waving a white flag. Don't shoot, don't shoot. Somebody started shouting. What was he wearing? A grey coat. And what was he shouting? Don't shoot, don't shoot. Don't shoot, lads. Please don't shoot. Someone shouted and no one did. So nobody did that. Everybody obeyed him. Then there was another face up on the parapet. And another, keep up your heads down, I told the men, it's a trick. Yeah, they thought possibly it's a trick. They're just trying to fool us. Once we just raise our heads, they start shooting. Probably it's a trick, you know. But it wasn't, but actually it wasn't a trick. One of the Germans was waving a bottle above his head. He was waving a bottle above his head. It is Christmas Day, Tommy. We have snacks. These are different types of food to eat, you know. We have sausage. We meet you. Yes, by this time there were dozens of them walking towards us across no man's land. Not a rifle between them. Nobody was carrying a rifle. Nobody wanted to shoot, you know. They all wanted to celebrate Christmas by wishing, by sharing the food that they had. Little Private Morris was the first up. Come on 
boys. What are we waiting for? And then there was no stopping them. I was the officer, I shouted. And then there was no stopping them. I was the officer, the officer there. I should have stopped them there and then. I suppose, but the truth is that it never even occurred to me I should. It never occurred to him that he should stop them. All along their line and hours, I could see men walking slowly towards one another, grey coats, khaki coats, so they were all very grey coats, khaki coats, meeting in the middle and I was one of them. I was part of this. In the middle of the war, we were making peace. Actually, it was war time. But what were the soldiers trying to do? They were trying to make peace. They did not want war at all. That is the reason, you know. They started wishing each other. They started sharing their food. Why? Because it was Christmas. That day was Christmas. They were in no mood to fight. They were absolutely in no mood to fight. They were in a mood for peace. You cannot imagine, dearest Connie, my feelings as I looked into the eyes of the Fritz officer who approached me, hand outstretched, hands would he said, gripping. He is ready to embrace him, wishing because it is Christmas. I am from Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf is the name of a place. I play the cello in the orchestra, Happy Christmas. So they are wishing each other what? Happy Christmas because it's Christmas time. Captain Jim McPherson, I replied, and a happy Christmas to you too. That is the wishing each other. I am a school teacher from Dorset. So what does he tell you? He says that he is a school teacher. Dorset is the name of a place in the west of England. So there is Dorset, it is in the west of England. Ah, Dorset is mine. Perhaps he knows about it. He must have heard that name. What? Dorset. I know this place. I know it very well. So he tells him, yes, he knows about Dorset very well. We shared my rum ration and his excellent sausage. See, I told you, they have started sharing their food, their drinks and everyone. That is, they are in a mood to celebrate Christmas. This suggests they are in no mood to fight, but in a mood to celebrate, to enjoy. And we talked, Connie, how we talked. He spoke almost perfect English with that man. He spoke perfect English, remember that? But it turned out that he had never set foot in Dorset. He never visited that place. Never ever been to England. He had never been to England. He must have heard about that place. He had learned all he knew of England from school and from reading books in English. So he knew about that place because he had read about that place, you know. His favourite writer was Thomas Hardy. His favourite book Far from the Magging Crowd. He's a very famous writer. He has written this book. So out there was in no man's land. We talked of Bathsheba and Gabriel O and Sergeant Troy. As I looked about me, there were huddles of khaki and grey everywhere because the soldiers are all dressed in khaki and grey. That is why all over no man's land. So where were they? In no man's land. Land which belongs to no one. Smoking, laughing, talking. Why? They are in a mood to enjoy, to celebrate Christmas, drinking, eating. Hans Gulf and I shared what was left of a wonderful Christmas cake. So both of them shared that beautiful Christmas cake. He thought the marzipan was the best he had ever had. Marzipan is something meant for eating. It is a sort of thing meant to be eaten. I agreed. We agreed about everything and he was my enemy. No, they are enemies but still their behavior doesn't say so. There never was a Christmas party like play. See? The
Fritz, the Germans, all the soldiers, you know, they were in no mood for war. They were celebrating, enjoying. They treated each other as their own brothers. They, had, they did not want bloodshed at all. How can one want bloodshed that too on the day of Christmas? No, they were in no mood for bloodshed. Rather, they were in a mood to enjoy Christmas, to treat each other like their own brothers. That is the reason they the shouting happy Christmas to each other, sharing the food, eating, singing, drinking and enjoying. So this suggests that we should never opt for war because war means bloodshed and only bloodshed. So war actually is not the solution for any problem for any country for that matter. So, one should always opt for peace and not war. Because war results only in destruction of life, destruction of property. One should never ever think of war. Rather, try to sort out the matters very amicably. Like you see here, the soldiers, they wanted peace. They did not want bloodshed. So children, my suggestion to you, my advice to you is, read this part thoroughly, underline the difficult words, write down their meanings. And after doing that, once again you go through the lesson thoroughly. Okay? Once you complete your reading of this particular part, again you start reading right from the beginning. Okay, that will help you, enable you to understand the lesson better.